everyone. How are you? I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a pretty gloomy, rainy Sunday afternoon where I am, so I thought this would be a perfect time to sit down and film an unboxing video. And I have here a very special delivery all the way from the Owlery at the Wizarding Trunk. This is their Wizarding Winter themed box, and I cannot wait to dive right in. I love the holidays. I love Christmas and Hogwarts around the holidays seems like it's filled with so much magic and it's so special. I think this is gonna be a fantastic one. So let's just dive right on in. All right, I'm gonna grab the first thing catching my eye here and this is gonna have to be a t-shirt. All right, here we go. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, I'll give you a peek, here we go. We have a Salem Sisters band tee. And on the back, you can see it there. It says Winter Tour 93, and you've got all the different cities from the tour. That's really fun. I love the Withering Trunks t-shirts. They're always so soft. They're a fantastic material. And I really like this heathered maroon color that they chose. I am definitely going to be wearing this one for sure. All right, the next one jumping out at me is this box here. This is definitely inspired by our favorite mischievous twins. And it's a potion. Oh, this is awesome. All right, here you go. Look at that color. I have not seen a potion this color before. This says bewitched snowballs. They never melt. They never miss. Oh, look at the back. Look at that. That is so neat. This is going to look fantastic on your potion shelf. I love that. I think that one's really creative. All right. The next item to catch my eye is this one here another wearable, a pair of really fun, cute, wintry socks that feel very Molly inspired. Um, kind of like the sweaters that she knits for the boys every year. I think these are really adorable. I'm definitely gonna wear these because it gets really, really cold in my apartment in the winter time. All right, what are we gonna for? We got some boxes, I can see some boxes. Let's go with this one. Unlocking magic, it's gotta be a key. All right, what magical door are we unlocking today? I love that, I think that's fantastic. The little, um, the little charm in there says certified healer. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see if I can get this out of here. All right, so this key is definitely meant to unlock the medical ward. We've got what looks like two snakes and some wings on that key. And then we had the certified healer charm. But we also have this other charm that says blood refilling potion. That is fantastic. And here it is. Here are our keys all together. All right, next up, let's go with the mystery box. No markings, no labels. Let's see what we got. Oh, we've got styrofoam. So I think this is gonna be some sort of display item. Here. Not making too much of a mess. Oh, that's sweet. It's like a little Christmas cake. Or would this be like a Christmas pudding? I'm not sure about UK desserts, but it looks like a little Christmas cake. That's really cute. Okay, so we do have a few more items in the box, but I dug out the paper products because I want to do those now. So let's look at the first one. We've got some recipes. Oh, we've got several recipes. Okay. We've got like four different recipe cards here. 
we have pork chops with roasted root veggies. There's the directions on the back. There is a Hungarian goulash. A, oh geez, how do you even say this? A Raoul sauce or bouillabaisse? I think that's what that is. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Or a Raoul sauce for a bouillabaisse. And then the bouillabaisse itself. I think that's what that is. Okay, I'm going to have to look at these in more detail, see if this is something I can actually make. I like baking, but I'm not the most skilled chef. Okay. Oh, we've got a copy of The Enchanter. I am excited to look through this. This is the first Enchanter that I have gotten. So let's see if we can just give you a quick peek at some of this stuff in there. There's some crosswords and puzzles. There's actually a recipe in here by the looks of it for gingerbread loaves. It actually looks like there's a few recipes in here. This looks really fun. I am definitely going to sit down um, and take the time to read this thoroughly. We've got like some horoscopes in here. I think this is really fun. It's definitely their take on the Quibbler. And I'm excited to finally have a copy of this. All right, next one. Oh, okay. We've got some sheet music. That's really pretty looking. God rest ye merry hippogriff. And we've got some beautiful gold foiling. It looks like it's on some older parchment paper. I love the details that they put into these things. And um, not only do we have the sheet music, but there's some lyrics there as well. There's no way that I can read this music anymore. Um, been a long time since Gritty Band, um, but I, I'm I'm assuming this is an actual song you can play because that would be that would be incredible detail. All right, and moving right along here, the last paper item we've got is a page out of the Magical Creatures book. This one is the Yule Cat which I have never heard of a Yule Cat before. So I'm definitely gonna give that a read, see what that says. And then we have a Yeti, which to me is very Christmassy because it reminds me of that old school Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that stop motion animation one where there's the abominable snowman. That's what I think when I think Yeti. All right, next up we have this little red velvet bag. And oh, I know what's in here, I can feel it. This is definitely a pen, which is kind of cool. It came in a little bag. All the pens I've gotten so far have just been in plastic. Oh, this is great. All the pens I've had so far, I think have been portrait pens. This is my first non-portrait pen, and it's like a giant gingerbread house. This is a really big pen. I love this. I think this is fantastic. I'm going to have to find some way to display my pins because they're just kind of piling up. Okay, we've got two boxes left. We've got this one and we've got this one. This one kind of looks like a jewelry box, so I think I'm going to leave this one for last. Let's go with this one. Oh, more styrofoam. What do we have here? Okay, it looks like one of those magical, what are they called? Magical decrees? Declaration. Declaration number, number, number 63. No kissing under the mistletoe. And I think I'm going to end up putting that on my Christmas tree because it's you can hang it. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that for sure. All right. Last but not least, the little black box. Oh, pretty. Oh, 
Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a medallion. And it says, you're invited. So it's kind of like an invitation to the dance, to the, to the Yule Ball. Oh, it's, oh, this is cute. Okay. It's actually an ornament. When I first saw it, I, I thought it was going to be like, um, like a metal that you wear around your neck. But it's actually something you can hang on your Christmas tree. And then you've got two little people dancing. And I don't know how well you can see on the camera. Um, but in the back, you can see like all the towers and everything. I'll try to get close there. It's really pretty. It's shaped like a snowflake. It's a very pretty blue. The back just says the wizarding trunk. Oh, well, that's fantastic because now I've got two items that I can hang on my tree. I love this. I think that's really pretty. And that's a really neat um, way to do an invitation in a form of a decoration. All right, that's it. Um, let's go over the cheat sheet real quick. Um, it says the Your Invited Ornament, an ornament to adorn your Christmas tree each year as a reminder that you were invited to the ball on one of the most magical nights of the year. Um, we have winter ball recipe cards. So these guys here. Uh, the Snowman Christmas Cake. So it is a cake. Um, the snowman on this cake will skate around until the cake is cut and served on the day of Christmas. That is creative. Number four is Mother Socks. Like I said, it did seem very Molly Weasley themed. Every child receives a pair of knit socks for their, for their mother? I think it's supposed to be from their mother on Christmas morning. All right, number five is the gingerbread house pin. Six is the magical declaration. It says there have been two more magical declarations issued for this holiday season. Which one did you receive? Oh, that's interesting. So not everybody gets the same one. Let me know down below which one you got if you got one of these boxes. Number seven is the... Bewitch Snowballs, my new favorite potion. These snowballs have been bewitched to never melt and always hit their targets. Give your bottle a good shake to activate the wintry magic within. Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary and label designed by Wizardry Workshop. Uh, number eight, the Enchanter Magazine. Number nine is the creature page. Number 10 is the God Rasty Mary Hippogriff sheet music. And 11 is the awesome Salem Sisters Winter Tour t-shirt. Love that. And number 12 is the magical hospital key. All right, that's it. We've opened everything. That was 12 items in that box. That's a lot. Um, out of all of them, I think my favorite is going to be the potion. I love this potion. I love the color. The swirl looks fantastic. And I love the little snowballs inside. I think this is really, really well done. And it's, it's themed after our favorite mischievous twins. I love the Weasleys. So that's definitely going to be one of my favorites. Um, and <laughs> the socks, is that boring? I don't know. I love the socks. I love the pattern. Um, they feel really thick and cozy. And Molly is one of my absolute favorite. And like I said, I do, I do love the Weasleys. And this is very, this is very Molly Weasley. I also really love the t-shirt. I am a sucker for a good band tee. And this feels so comfortable. I cannot wait to put this on, but I really do love everything. I think if I had to choose a least favorite, it would probably be the Christmas cake. Um, I just, other than, you know, it's just a display item, which is great. Doesn't really match with the rest of my stuff. That would probably be why. But um, other than that, yeah, I thought this was great.
All right, but now I want to know what you think. Did you have a favorite item, a least favorite item? Did you get this box for yourself? Leave your thoughts, comments, opinions down below in the comment section. And if you like the video, like the video. And if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending your time with me here today. Bye.